I feel comfortable in games. I mean, every now and then there's one that'll throw me for a loop. Um, but reviewing games, like LR and, and reading comp, I feel like, you know, I, I can see where I'm screwing up and, and try to learn from it. I know there's a lot that I need to learn there, but the games getting faster, improving on that stuff isn't really, you know, I can see the deductions afterwards, but, uh, or like, when do you, when is it right to apply multiple uh, diagrams, you know, different s scenarios? Um, or is this a game in particular where you're just kind of wasting your time writing four or five of them out? Yeah, great question. I mean, it's really a matter of practice to see the patterns and how you could make more inferences up front, make multiple main diagrams even. So I would consider that really a matter of practice. And then you can check things against my explanations to see where I go further and when I don't. And it's just based on the nature of the rules and the initial setup, how they combine. If there's a, certainly a certain particular powerful variable or group of variables that connect together in a certain way, like a block, for example, that could be a guideline to help in making those multiple diagrams. Then the other thing to look at as well upon your review is how could you have used previous work more, previous hypothetical valid scenarios that you've drawn up to that point. Yeah. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.